Well, you might have liked this one. But I got another one. Excuse me, YouTubing, YouTubing. Excuse me, YouTubing. That's my all long. YouTubing. This is for kick for dummies. God damn. Ain't no way this line goes across the street. Yo, for the kicks for dummies. Damn. Damn. I, I'm a Days ago, that's it's like a uh, nigga. What? What's up, everybody? Y Davis here, back with another review. So I'm showing you guys Nike SB, Dunk High, or Melzy. All right, guys, this is the box right here. It comes in a skinny box, but I did show you guys this box right here, the Air Jordan 4 SB box. We get the same color, but we do get a top lid on this one instead of it being connected. And this box is a little bit lighter than this one, as you guys can see. But, um, let's get into it, guys. So once again, my boy did get these for me. And, um, you know, he was supposed to get my size, but then he was like, you know what? I'm going to keep them as personals. But I may have found my size in a 9.5 in this one, so I will be showing you guys some more sizing tips and a lace swap maybe later on tonight, if I'm lucky. But um, you guys are going to have to watch me wear these uh, big boots on my feet tonight. But uh, <laughs> I did go to size 11.5 on this. Now, the retail is 130 If you pick these up in New York City, you will have to pay taxes on them, New York tax. All right, I'm going to show you guys the receipt right here. He was number one. If you guys look at that time on this receipt, it does say 11.03, and it was just bananas over there. Now, before I actually get into this review, I just want to say thank you guys for the support. My three-year anniversary is today on creating the channel, even though I didn't actually make my first video until October. But I just want to say thank you guys for all the support. Anybody that has liked, commented, or subscribed, you know, I just want to say thank you guys. Even the people that hasn't and just watched, thank you as well. But uh, let's get into it, guys. So this is the box right here. It says Nike SB at the top. Okay, open up the top of the box here. We do get some extra pair of laces on these. Now, on the black pair, they do come standard with the black laces. But on the white pair, we do get them as an extra. And this is the shoe right here, guys. What colorway do you guys like more? I kind of like the black more. You know what I mean? I wear a lot more black clothes and things like that. But the white is pretty good, too, in my opinion. But they do come standard with the white laces and some other good details about the shoe that they come with this nice hang tag slash keychain on here. And it says, World Famous Supreme. All right, another thing that you guys do see that we don't really see on Supreme Shoes is this emblem on the bottom of the laces right there in gold. We also get this very nice canvas on both the shoes and the canvases are different on both shoes. If you guys look at that, we get his face on both shoes as well. But I don't know, man, I like the lows a little bit more than the highs, but the highs are really nice as well. So let me know which ones you guys are going after if you hit or if you didn't hit or if you got cart jack like myself. But let's get into it, guys. All right, news already. Tremaine Emery, uh, the owner of Denim Tears and basically the face of Supreme until he resigned a few weeks ago, has let out some information a little bit earlier today, actually, on this release. And I'll show you guys some pictures and things of that right here. Supposedly, we was supposed to get some clothes, merch, and things like that behind this whole sneaker. But I guess he wasn't happy about the things that was happening behind doors that we don't really see with Supreme. So you guys can check this out on his personal webpage. I will leave some clips here. You guys can go check off all, all this stuff on your own. But let's get back into the video, guys. So this is the bottom of the shoe right here. So it comes in this gum bottom, as you guys can see. In the middle right there, it says Nike with the swoosh. All right, and then we get this gum bottom with the not so detailed star towards the top of the foot. Now we do get this white midsole with some white stitching on both the outside and the inside of the shoe. 
coming up toward the base of the shoe here we do get this really nice suede which is like a nappy suede it is like a hairy nappy suede on here and we do get a little bit of a pattern change you guys can see that on both the outside and the inside of the shoe and if you guys look at the main panel we do have a lot of his graffiti work now Romelzi is a graffiti artist he's also into gothic futurism so I'm gonna show you guys some pictures of him right here but this is the outside of the shoe you can see his face on the outside of this shoe pretty dope in my opinion all right same thing on the inside of the shoe. What do you guys think about these? A copper drop for you guys. We get some more of that nice canvas on the inside. I do see a little bit of glue stains on this pair as well. Not as much as the black pair, but you know, it kind of does blend in with the white on the midsole a lot, if you guys can see that. Looking at the toe box on this shoe, it is canvas, so you guys won't have to worry about wearing anywhere with shoe trees in these, and these won't crease up on you as easy as other shoes, or at all, really. But you can use my code of YDavis on creasebeats.com. Save yourself five bucks on creasebeats protection to have your shoes looking nice at all time on leather shoes in the toe box. Looking at the mud guard here, we do get some more glue stains on the mud guard. Underneath that, we do see the white, the white stitching, and the not so detailed stars. Once again, these shoes do come with two sets of laces. They come standard with the white, and then they come with the black, and then on the opposite, and then on the Nike Dunk Low, it's the opposite. Looking at the tips on this shoe, it says world famous once again on both pairs. They both have these details on it. On the bottom of the laces, it does have that emblem of Supreme in gold. On the tongue here, we get like a tan mesh tongue. On the inside of the tongue, it just tells us where the shoe is from and everything like that. You can't really read it, but I'm gonna show you guys anyway. We do get some tissue inserts on the insides of these. All right, and we do get a white sock lining on this shoe. You guys look on the inside of the shoe. Shoe inserts of the shoe, it does say Supreme on it and you can connect them and it spells out Supreme. Underneath that, it does say the Ramelzi Estate. Show you guys real quick. We don't get silent stickers on these shoes. I'm show you guys these real fast. It is in red, really nice detailing on these insoles. On the back of the insole, this is a cheap insole, but they do come with the padding, like most SBs do. Now, I've never had a pair of high SBs, so I'm not really sure how these would fit, but in my opinion, go up half a size minimum and you know go from there. Underneath the actual insole, it is white with some white stitching and a little bit of glue stains in there. Okay. On the back of the shoe, we get some more of that canvas. You guys all of this. And that's pretty much going to do it for this shoe, all right? Okay, guys, hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Show your boy some love and stay tuned.